Now, if you've ever seen a runway look and wondered how you could possibly wear that in real life, you've come to the right place. Because here to show us how to go from winter runway to reality is Lynn Spence. Hey, Lynn. I'm so glad to see you. And one thing we're seeing on the runways is leather. It's leather weather. So people want to know how you wear that without making it look too tough. So what you've seen on the runway right now is a lot of black, a lot of real leather, a lot of heavy, a lot of banding, um, heavy trousers, heavy boots. So I find that if you get away from the black and you sleek the leather down to a faux leather, it will immediately feel a little bit more wearable. Mm. The color makes everything. So let's look at the model. Let's bring Catherine yeah. out right now and see how we are doing leather. Mm. So you were right about color. It softens it right up. Immediately softened. Mm -hmm. And also, so this is all from Tony Plus, but you see the nice. faux le leather is thin, so it's more malleable. Right. Number one. Number two, this burgundy, you, you can separate all these pieces and wear them in different ways. Yeah. And make them look really, you know, whether it's weekend and cozy or super sophisticated, she could do a heel with this. Mm -hmm. But I still did a chunky boot with it. But nevertheless, I also wanted to add a little bit of dimension to it. So the top's got a little bit of bejeweling, which yeah. you wouldn't have normally. Right. And then there's softness with the faux fur reversible vest mm -hmm. because there's again a little bit of sparkle. So all of a sudden, I feel like this is more wearable. Yes. More understandable. It's the textures of it too. Yes. So the colors and the textures, it looks fantastic head to toe. I'm digging the monochromatic everything. I love it. Catherine, thank you so much. It's fabulous. I love this next trend. It's electric hues. You know, we want to talk a little bit about how we do that in real life. Well, you're doing it with the most amazing little booties. See, just a little peek. Like, they're, that's fantastic. Yeah. But I think that what we're seeing on the runways is top to toe, one color. Yes. Pink seems to be the, the biggest, most important country, uh, color right now. Well, we're having fun with it. We're having fun with it, but yeah. I think that sometimes it can be overwhelming. Right. So let's look at our le next model, and yeah. then I'm going to say that it would be great to really look at sportswear. Let's bring Gnarly out. So we've got some beautiful pink happening here, and you're right, head to toe sportswear. Like sportswear makes yeah, it hi. makes it more wearable for I think for a lot of girls. Yeah. And and here's the other thing. If you do a suit, you're going to get a matched pant and a matched jacket. Right. Yay, that's fantastic. But when you decide to do this, you will never find all the components right. in one store. Yeah. So you've got to be willing to travel around. Did you do winner's, some shopping? Winner's jacket, yeah. bay, yeah. Uh, with, for the boots. Uh, it just felt better for me to go around and look around and see what people had. Mm -hmm. I took it all home and then I took half of it back. Let me ask you this. Are people still following you around at the mall? Oh, always. <laughs> Always. They're like, I see Lynn Spence. Should I buy these yes, jeans? And exactly. you're like, yes. And then yes. you're like, no. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> but you see, cutting up the color like that, yeah. first of all, makes it easier to wear. Yes. This little jacket brings all the color down. Mm. And yet the pad becomes really the focal point. Mm -hmm. But then when you get down to the little soft booty, yeah. then all of a sudden, it brightens it up again. It softens it again. Right. So there's even, look at this, a little bag. So That's that, so cute. that says, she could go to a party like this. Yeah. Totally well, you cute. better. That's the only place I can fit only the, the like the small amount of things you can fit in that bag. I can't wear that to work. I know. That's I like know. a lipstick and a credit card, <laughs> right? Gnarly, thank you so much. It's beautiful. Very nice. Okay, we're talking plaid now. Plaid is, you know, it's a trend that's not going to go anywhere. How are we seeing it on the runway? So we're seeing a huge amount of plaid yeah. all together. Or we're seeing tiny, tiny little skirts. Okay. Little micro mini pleated teeny, skirts. Tiny, tiny. Or we're seeing just a, sh a shacket. Right. You know, we're seeing a lot of that. Which but is on the runway, to, yeah. hardcore plaid, big, big coats, the whole nine yards. Okay. But let's look at our next model. Yeah. And I think you're going to find it interesting because what, really, what I really decided to do. Yeah. And Banana Republic was so easy. They really helped me out. I love was it. To mix my Hi. plaids. Yeah. And that for me is just 
fresh and new and fun. Many, many people can do this, but you still need one bit of color that holds everything like together. Like an anchor. There's my anchor of black. Right. There's my anchor of black in the little booty. Mm -hmm. And I've taken another, not a plaid, but a stripe this time, bold, yeah. and added it to it rather than a coat or whatever. And that juxtapositions the entire thing. What is and this makes though? It, is this a scarf? It's a, it's a big poncho. Oh, it's a poncho. So she could just do that extra layer. And I like that. Toasty warm. Yeah. And then the trap her hat, which is yeah. really fun and unexpected. So I will say to everybody that loves plaid because it's going to be around forever mm -hmm. is this time around really have fun with it and make it a little bit disheveled okay so and break it up have it fun works. with it different scale because I right? could do a beautiful little black trouser with that but I don't want to this year mm -hmm. I want to have fun with it and everybody should be having some fun with their fashion don't take oh, yourself too seriously I agree I'm in head to toe sparkles you know what I mean like just have some fun just have some fun absolutely Kim, you know thank what? you you could yeah. take this and put it on top of that and I that sure would be fun could too. I sure could okay we're gonna talk boho um which I love as a trend how are we seeing it on the runways we're seeing it um, actually in a lot of long maxi dresses beautiful a lot of movement a lot of great pattern yeah wait till you see the next model should we bring she Sophia out I love this come dress. on out Sophia because we want to talk about rocking boho in the winter months which is you've done so beautifully here it's this is darker so palette so I went to spanner for this dress yeah. I got a little faux fur vest which looks really pretty but here is my point you would have seen it on the runway colossally crazy yeah what's what's great about this is that in the past uh, summer mm -hmm. we saw tiny little prints yeah we saw flounce after flounce after flounce it's too junior mm -hmm. we want something more sophisticated we want something in a fabric that she could wear all year round I could put a turtleneck yeah. underneath that if I wanted to put a leather jacket if I wanted to mm -hmm. I love doing that little boot from Zara because that's yeah. a little witchy boot yeah but less flounce and much more about fantastic pattern that is an interesting color combination yeah. and something that has longevity yes. and something that swirls around the body all year round. But right now, to me, that looks like a winter maxi dress which I think is absolutely superb. Yeah, it's superb. like the color palette. There's something about it. And I think the fact that you like anchored it with the faux fur vest, like it feels like something for the colder months, yes. which is beautiful. Did you just call us all witches with our boot? They're witchy boots. Okay, well, I like that. I love that. Like who doesn't want to be a little bit witchy, right? <laughs> Thank you so much, Lynn. That is so good. Uh, it's always, yes, it's always a runway when you walk out.